The U.S. Air Force just revealed that its AI piloted F-16 is now flying, quote, complex dogfights against human piloted fighters. In a press release dropped just a few hours ago, the Air Force outlined how over the past 12 months, at least 21 of these air combat exercises have been held, each one with increasing complexity, culminating in a recent dogfight between an AI-piloted, heavily modified F-16 known as the X-62 Vista and another F-16 piloted by an Air Force test pilot. And according to the release, these aircraft really went at it, with the AI-piloted F-16 closing to within just 2,000 feet of the human-piloted fighter at speeds in excess of Mach 1.5, or better than 1,200 miles per hour at one point in the engagement, though just who won has not been disclosed. Now, this isn't the first time the Air Force's artificial intelligence, or the X-62 in particular, have seen AI-enabled air combat exercises. Last January, we learned that a month prior, in December of 2022, the U.S. Air Force secretly held air combat exercises with the X-62 piloted by this AI agent. But in the year or so since then, DARPA and the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School have made more than 100,000 code changes to the AI agent's flight control software, making it capable of far more complex air combat missions than ever before. And they started, according to the release, by teaching the AI defensive maneuvers, followed by increasingly complex offensive maneuvers, and then finally, according to the Air Force, offensive high-aspect nose-to-nose engagements, also known as good old-fashioned dogfights. Now, all of this happened as a part of DARPA's Air Combat Evolution, or ACE program, which has been underway since 2019. In fact, you likely heard about it a few years ago when they pitted an AI pilot against a human pilot in a simulated dogfight. And since then, the Air Force has doubled and tripled down on sticking artificial intelligence into the cockpit. In fact, DARPA's ACE program is closely interrelated with the Air Force's Project Viper Experimentation and Next Gen Operations Mode, or Project Venom, which, as we speak, is equipping six combat-coded F-16s with new AI pilots that will learn from human pilots in the cockpit before moving on to taking control of the aircraft and flying air combat operations all on their own. Now, the ACE program and Project Venom are both a part of the Air Force's broader and ominously named Skyborg program, which is the effort to field artificial intelligence pilots to take control of AI-enabled wingmen that will fly alongside the forthcoming sixth-generation fighters in development today, which will have pilots on board. But more than that, the Air Force also wants to stick AI into the cockpits of those crewed fighters to take over some of the monotonous work and reduce the cognitive load on pilots in the fight, sort of like an incredibly advanced autopilot. But by now you might be asking, why dogfighting? There hasn't been a dogfight in years. And the answer is that it's not really about the dogfight itself, so much as the AI proving that it can handle the aircraft in incredibly complicated and difficult circumstances. And as an aviator, you will find few more complicated and difficult circumstances than a close quarter scrap with a Viper. Now, as capable as this AI appears to be, the Air Force is still a ways off from putting AI-piloted fighters into combat, but this is a massive step in that direction. And the Air Force is so confident in their AI fighter pilot that they also announced that Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall, a 75-year-old man with no piloting experience, will be riding in the cockpit of the X-62 for an upcoming air combat exercise. And the Air Force intends to award contracts for the next generation air dominance, sixth generation air superiority fighter that will fly alongside AI-enabled wingmen, as well as those AI wingmen, known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs, later this year. So while there's still no reason to worry about science fiction nonsense like Skynet, American adversaries might want to worry a bit about Skyborg.